title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team has been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by night's end. John Bones Jones, as usual, ready to battle as he tries to take home the title. to a visual you thought you may never see Muhammad Ali taking his act to the octagon and a lot of people out there betting on this man think he's going to realize success here tonight. Well why would you not expect it right? The guy has done everything he has ever said he was going to do from becoming the Olympic gold medalist to becoming the heavyweight world champion to becoming the greatest boxer the world has ever seen. This guy is a fearless competitor. He has tremendous hand speed unbelievable footwork but it won't be those gifts that allows him to find success in the UFC. He's gonna have to mix everything up. Sort of felt like he had exhausted the boxing world. Felt like this was the next professional challenge. Perhaps a case of be careful what you wish for. Muhammad Ali gracing the octagon here tonight. The greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali, set to fight John Bones Jones. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. We go inside the octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, John Bones Jones! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting a reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, Muhammad Ali. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. All right, here we go, folks. They have locked the door behind Muhammad Ali and John Jones, two of the consensus greatest in their craft of all time. Going to be interesting to see how it plays out. You don't get that. You don't get two guys that are thought of as the greatest of all time and not many argue with it about it. That is exactly what we get with Jones versus Ali. We get two long strikers inside the octagon trying to settle the age-old question. Is it MMA or is it boxing? We find out tonight. What a kick. That one landed. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. All those long range weapons are John Jones' call apart. Ooh. Well, 
John Jones showing you some of those new weapons here tonight. Mike Winklejohn is always fond of saying you don't see 30% of what Johnny Bones is able to do in the gym. And with every passing fight, start to show you new wrinkles, new weapons in that arsenal. Whiffs on the right hand. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Now they separate. Nice defense there. Single leg attempt, no good. Nice shot to the head from the clinch position. Another good shot to the head. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Oh, no pad on the foot. That's a solid kick right there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tough, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Oh, nice kick. That play oh. lead to the head landing. Keep going again. Keep going again. Just missed with the leg kick. Too many more of those. One, two, to the top. All right, he gets the takedown now, DC. We'll see what he can do in this advantageous spot. He set it up beautifully. Let's see if he can now take full advantage of it. Back to his feet. Three minutes have gone by here in round one. Oh, nice kick. Really starting to pile up since he found his range. This could be trouble. He looked for that knee. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Champ. Single collar tie now. Jones is pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he's absorbed a lot of strikes to the head. Got to figure out a way to raise the guard and be more defensively sound. Under a minute now to go in the round. Inside, so you got a ton of options. He goes, he's up belly. He's postured up. He's landed big grind pound. He has to move on the bottom or the fight's gonna get stopped. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, he postures up yet again and delivers another big sequence there of ground and pound. Beautiful punches there by Jones. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. He's very accurate in the ground and pound and is showing because he's landing so consistently. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, Jones gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Huh. Round two is next. Let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, this should be good as our next round gets underway. We nearly had a knockout in the previous round, but... The corner seems to think they have their fighter back in the game. It felt fun watching such an exciting moment, but it is a testament to this fighter in the toughness and the durability that he possesses that he's still here right now with an opportunity still to win the fight. 
Jones going for the takedown here, but he misses. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Lands a solid kick right there. Nice crack there. Oh, so John Jones changes levels, and now he takes the fight to the ground. Okay, he's a junior college national champion. And I remember when John Jones was in college, everyone looked at him. Oklahoma State, Iowa State. He chose to fight, and he shows right now why he had so much big Division One interest in his wrestling career. Jones has got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. Oh, he's got the Kimura locked in. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Big ground and pound. Nice strike from bottom position. Oh, right into Mount. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut. And man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut. Making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now we on him to continue on the path and make the rig side of the over here and try to stop this fight. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Heavy kick downstairs. Nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter evades. Oh, he's got the single collar locked in the clinch now. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take one arm. Oh, almost like he saw the skin swell right away after he landed that strike. So that trainer's gonna have to bring in the end swell to try to deal with the swelling because this guy is getting pieced up. Short up the cut in the clinch by Jones. Nice job by Johnny Bones there on the feet. I'm not in the prediction business, but if the opponent doesn't adjust here, this could be the beginning of the end. He's got to do something different because for Jones, he's not only a reverse striker, but he's a fantastic finisher. He's a guy that when he gets the opponent's hurt, he knows where to find the spot in their night. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my pass. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. Nice shots landing from the top position. Big shot lands. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body. He has an oh. Oh, he got it again. And back to his feet. 20 seconds left to go in round two. Takedown defense is there. He gets to a spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fall. His nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work.
All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! He's getting lit up right now, John. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Oliver. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the middle, and that was a good time. Oh, he's still right So the cut really starting to open up wider now, and you gotta credit this striker for, for continuing to attack that area. Just knowing the target, knowing what he's supposed to do, and doing it as effectively as he is right now. This guy's tremendous. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. All right, well, that blow is fascinating from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Big double leg up. Just over three minutes now to go. Nice guillotine attempt here. Oh, that guillotine choke is tough. Oh, he escapes. He got out. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. North-South position now, DC. We'll see how he chooses to advance from here. Jones is trying for the Kimura submission here. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. Whoa, somehow, some way, he gets the arm out. It looked like he was done, John, but he was able to stay comfortable, stay patient, and now he finds himself safe. Jones is cut on his nose. is just pouring blood at this point. You wonder if that's impacting his breathing by now. Oh, that's how you do it. Postures up and lands to the head. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Beautiful transition. Great job landing from the top position. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Jones is back to the north-south position now. Oh, he's stepping over the head here. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, how on God's green earth did he get out? Had no surprise there as he lets his opponent stand back up. Jones's eye is really not... By oh, breaking stop. the action here, no surprise to see the referee call for the doctor to look at that eye, which is essentially swollen shut at this yeah, point. Yeah, swollen shut. I mean, the end swell is not working. Sometimes the swelling is too much. You have to save the fighter from themselves. All right, we'll see if the doctor allows the fight to continue. It looks as though he will. Crowd loves it when the doctor lets the fight continue, don't I they? I, I love it. I love it when he lets it continue, especially when you have a fight Let's that has fight. been as fun as this one right. to this point. All right, so some pretty significant adversity here, but the fight is going to continue. The doctor has left, and the ref gets us back on the way. Gets us right back on the way. And it doesn't seem like there was too much thought into it. It looked like they were going to let him fight, and that's exactly what they did, and I could not be happy. Ali's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect that already. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Changing the position. All 
right, side control now. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should change guillotines, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Right to the knee on belly. Gains great posture and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is gonna be stopped. Getting them out here. 20 seconds left. Ali's eye is starting to close up. Gotta get that end swell on it between rounds if we get there. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. That's three rounds. We're now headed to the championship rounds. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really opened up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this guy won't do it himself, somebody's got to help him. Yeah. Because you cannot keep taking these types of shots. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five, five minute left. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship rounds? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Jones' cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Oh, the ground and pound is there. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Solid kick right there. Oh, there you go. Nice elbow lands on the inside. Oh, he better start moving. He can't take two minutes up the cut. And there's that jab. Well, I'm not sure if there's a facial fracture of some kind, but the striking approach has certainly worked tonight. And his opponent. He's hurting, sure. He's hurting really bad right now. I mean, every single time the shot lands up top, you can see the damage that it's inflicting. The, the, the work that he has done has been masterful. And now he has his opponent very limited because he can't take many shots to the head anymore. He's got to be careful here. Muhammad Ali gets back up again. Shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, so the redness is omnipresent now. He has absorbed a whole lot of body strikes. Pretty good poker face, but I'm not sure how many more of these he wants to take. No, he doesn't. He needs to do something different. He cannot continue to get beat up like this. But it's on his opponent. It's on the guy that is landing these strikes to continue down the path until he makes you change something. Do this over and over because it seems like this is your easiest path to victory. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target, so even if the feet aren't moving, you gotta be ready to slip that head at a moment's notice. Man, the body... Guillotine jump! That guillotine jump is getting tight, but you can't just squeeze. You gotta get your hips into your opponent if you want him to tap. Oh, hang on a second, he escapes! What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock, create some space, go to your back, give up the mount, but live to fight another day. He's got to be careful here. Muhammad Ali gets back up again, nicely done. Just over two minutes to go in the round. All right, so he earned respect from his opponent early on with the power, and now the swelling really started to become a factor champ. The swelling started... Oh! Look 
goes with that left hand. Not there. Jones's eye is almost swollen shut. It's actually swollen shut at this point in time. They might potentially stop this fight if he has vision issues from here. He did a great job of blocking that punch. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Done. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. All right, north-south position. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. All right, so now going to position over submission as he bails on the sub. Ground and pound keeps Touchdown. coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Oh, big shots from the top. Another ground and pound strike lands. Working out of the half guard here. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. While doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Ali. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, back to the stools now, and he is no longer the handsome man we once knew. That gash is getting serious. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, well, defense wins championships, and perhaps he can shore some things up there. Here are some replays from the damaging previous round. Well, he's got to. He's got to change some things if he doesn't want this cut to get worse. But hats off to his opponent. His opponent found the target. His opponent knew exactly what he wanted to accomplish, and he got it done. He's got to continue on the path in order to make the cut worse. Oh, and there's that inside leg kick. And just slap yourself hard on the inside of your leg and tell me how that feels. I mean, it really hurt because that's the soft right. part of your leg. So you land that over and over again. Guy will have a very tough time maneuvering out of a lot of his techniques. Nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. oh, that cut is getting worse with every passing ground strike as he lands again. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Ali. These ground strikes really started to add up. There's another one. So trying to guard Fight pass down. here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pop. Jones is back into full guard. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd responds in kind. The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. It was very hard to get back up after getting taken down. But he's got there now. Let's see if he can take advantage of it. Front kick by Johnny Bone. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. He's doing a nice job targeting that area, continuing to attack that already compromised and swollen up. Good body shot on it there. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what, I'm going to take one to give him. Jones's cut on his cheek is nasty, leaky, leaky. That thing is leaking bad now. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game. And if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the way. I mean, he's hard to see. Right now, he's got to start doing everything he can find. Oh! That is it! Holy smokes! 
Well, that smile on his face is only going to be surpassed by the zeros on the check. A huge knockout tonight. Got to think some bonus money's coming his way. Bonus money is coming his way. When you knock somebody stiff like this, you expect a bonus check. What a phenomenal performance by this young man. We go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 37 seconds of round number five. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Muhammad. So there is the man they are all still chasing in the UFC heavyweight champion, the undisputed king of the big boys, getting it done here tonight by way of the knockout. And his corner is absolutely thrilled with the effort and the result here tonight. He was measured, and when there was an opportunity to seize the finish, he certainly steamrolled right through it. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world.